Can you not do that? Because it was like not mixed up. <laughs> oh. And now it is. It was like really clear on top and I wanted to show that. It was at this moment that she knew she f***ed up. I walked it over here carefully for that. And I promise I'm not even like trying to be mean. I'm sorry. How long okay. does it take to go down? Can we fake it? <laughs> yeah, we can. No. We could fake it. Why would we do that and waste rice? I've had this fermenting for months. I am so sorry. It's okay. My childish curiosity. <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> but that's literally what it is. <laughs> if you have anything, it's childish curiosity. Seriously. No. We could just get regular rice and put it on That's there. not how this works. What, you don't want to lie to your people? <laughs> and that's also recording. And so? I'm putting that. Oh, <laughs> sister, don't body. What's I'm up? trying to, you know, it's I'll for educational explain. purposes. No, I'm putting this in my hair. I but know. I wanted to show what that's it what looks saying, like. Get decoy. <laughs> What is up, I'm my little unicorns, new and old. It's your girl Wes Indy Ray. And I am Full Metal Bro. And we are your favorite log sister duo, okay? You guys asked several times, it was quite annoying, for me to put her in a video. And then she just so <laughs> happened to be at my crib. So I figured now is the perfect time to do that. And I'm also going to be putting very old fermented rice water in my hair. So, now, I made a noopsie. <laughs> she made a noopsie. And so you guys, she shook it up. Yeah. So you guys like, can't see what it looked like before. But it was not as foggy as this. So, excuse her. But still. <laughs> Anyways, throughout this process, I'm going to be asking her questions about her eight year locks once I get to spraying, okay? Spraying the stuff in my hair. So you guys are going to be able to know things about her lock journey and all that. <laughs> She's so mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just manifesting itself in like a really strange way right now. So yeah, but I'm going to be putting this fermented rice water. This is probably been fermented for like six months, maybe, give or take, you know. And they usually say like when people make rice water, they're all like, leave it in fermentation for up to two days so obviously that's a lot longer than you know expected but we're just gonna try it actually it's longer than six months because my hair is actually yeah, so. my locks are like seven months going on eight and I use this on my loose natural hair so maybe like nine months that's a whole baby I know that is a that is definitely That's a child. Jet. It's a jit. So I'm gonna be doing that. But first, I want to talk about the effects of rice water, what it's supposed to do when used properly. Again, I don't know if the lot community is gonna turn their backs on me and tell me I'm stupid for putting this in my hair. But what the effects are supposed to be when you do it right is it detangles the hair, makes hair smoother, increases shine, makes hair stronger, helps hair grow long. It has amino acids, B vitamins, vitamin E, minerals, antioxidant, and the Yao women who are known for traditionally bathing with this, which is why their hair is so long and beautiful and silky, they say that it keeps your hair color for longer. So a lot of the women there, um, they didn't start graying until they reached their 80s. So like, I'm trying to get on that. So maybe this rice water is going to be trash for my hair and all that. And also maybe it's going to <laughs> give me a one up on all of y'all. Most like, you never know. So we're just going to try it. And also the reason why, cause there's two ways to make it. You can either make it and like boil it and do all this stuff and it only takes a day to make, or you can ferment it for up to two days and that increases the amount of antioxidants that are actually in the rice water and it combats hair and skin cell damage, okay? You're supposed to leave it on for 20 minutes, but guess what I'm gonna do? Leave it on all day. Exactly. So this is what the rice water looks like. I'm gonna get a zoom in. This is what it looks like up until this point. I'm honestly shocked that there's still rice in there and it's not just like mushy stuff, but it's still in there. And another thing about this rice water is that I also, I believe when I did it, if I recall correctly, because mind you, this was last year, 
but from what I remember, I think I like boiled orange peels in water, let it completely cool, and then rinsed off the rice over and over again and put the rice inside of that water and let it sit and put essential oils in it. So when I originally did it, it didn't smell bad at all, but we gonna see if like maybe the fermentation. Um, Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna put it in this spray bottle and then she's gonna spray it on my hair while I ask her questions about her eight year yeah. vlog journey. Let's have okay, her smell right it. In front of my nose. Let's have her okay. smell it first. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it smells not like, bad. No, it smells like it smells like minty and like lime. Kind of sour though. It's like lime and mint. That's what it smells like. I'm actually going to shake it up a little bit more. Just oh, to, I, I can do that part. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you can, but I don't trust you at this point. Trust has been breached. So. But she's such a calm, good-hearted person that she didn't even snap on me. Like, I didn't. Y'all, I've come a long way like, because how did I used to be in bro, my past life? I would have got the claws. If I spilled in it, it <laughs> Pouring things has never been so hard when I know that you're behind me and you can possibly <laughs> do anything. I'm not I feel like I'm wide open. Whew, that was a lot. Yeah, see, trust the exercise. <laughs> I failed. <laughs> so, I'm still gonna keep this. Y'all got me messed up. I might even put this on my face and see if I break out because I'm <laughs> wild like that. So, yeah, it's not bad, y'all. People always talk about, oh, it smells so rancid, but, but the thing is, all, if you didn't mix it with those other things, it probably would have Probably would have been. Also, I feel like people who are used to being around like earthy stuff and like because we eat really clean right. and we're like healthy and stuff and not only do i feel like we're used to the earthy type smells i feel like maybe it's even like affected our like smelling palettes and stuff to where things just don't smell as bad even like when we make our medicinal like our herbal medicines and mm -hmm. things like that like those things are really bitter and people would probably gag if they had it yeah but we're just so used to just having things in their natural state that it's, it's like, not because we're used to all or we can't people, really take sugar and stuff that yeah much. like i don't have a tolerance for sugar like i don't really i put if i put honey in my tea it's just like a little bit yeah not that so, we're better than y'all yeah things, but i mean kind of <laughs> <laughs> if you want to you want to go there i mean we can you know. just know we have the fun <laughs> but yeah let's just let y'all live yeah. anyways so can you spray this in yeah. my hair? There's nothing really wrong with my hair right now. It's a little dry just because I've been neglecting it. Don't spray it yet, please. Oh. It's a little dry just because <laughs> I've been neglecting it, but there's nothing like, I'm not really seeking anything. I'm just trying to see like what the effects will be. So I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see what my hair looks like. I just rinsed it a couple days ago, but I didn't like retwist it or anything. Show them how long your hair is. Isn't that crazy? All the way down to her butt, and it's just beautiful. So, how long, as you spray, how long have you been um, growing your hair for? Um, eight years this year. Mm. It's my eighth year. And literally, the best choice that I've made aesthetically, and I feel like it's also a spiritual thing too. Mm. In what way? Um, because, like, just seeing <laughs> my own emotional spiritual growth one thing this actually stinks as you're spraying it i don't know why but yeah this thing smells really bad so continue yeah. spiritual growth okay <laughs> and uh yeah just seeing like the person that i was like when my hair was short <laughs> or maybe it's because you're talking now <laughs> you saw me <laughs> <laughs> okay sorry Spiritual growth. <laughs> All right, you're the one whose hair is gonna be rancid. I'm gonna spray extra too. Okay. But anyway, yeah. So like seeing the person that I was when my hair was short, <clears throat> yikes, versus the person that I am now, it's like really like illustrates the growth that I've actually been through. Like I can, it's like I, you can see outside of just like. Oh yeah, you know, this year was this or whatever. It's like a parallel journey yeah. of self and of hair. Yeah. I feel that for sure. So what prompted you to start your locks? 
Uh, well, I wanted to have locks since I was like eight because I never was really like into like doing hair. I wasn't really curly or anything. And I thought locks looked cool. And I also knew that if I had locks, I wouldn't have to like brush it all the time and get braided and stuff. And she would get in trouble constantly from my mom for like trying to walk out the house with the same ponytail. Like there was one time where she literally cried and my dad had to help her brush one or was it, it was like, like three, three it was like huge one long three just matted yeah because i would just keep the same brush gel, it. brush it and put gel on yeah it. Like so was, she hair was, was not her thing like how i'd be on here showing y'all look you could do this like unnecessary stuff like this is not her nah. even to this day i don't really do stuff like that so let's explore that like why don't you what do you actually do to your locks because i'm sure people think your locks are beautiful and they want to know how complicated is your routine it's actually super simple um i probably wash it like once every month unless i do something like crazy if i'm like in the garden a lot or if i'm like working out like a lot and sweating maybe something i'll do it just like as necessary but i probably twist it like once a month even if i wash it like twice or whatever i won't twist it every time um I do an apple cider vinegar wash once every six months and that just helps get rid of like a lot of the buildup. Um, I don't know if you have a video on that. I don't because okay. I've only had my locks for coming up on eight months and I just, the products that I use, like I explained in my other videos, I'll link them up top. Um, my last video that I did about like my lock tonic, which is what I use to moisturize my hair, it's clear substances you know what I mean like right. it's stuff that's going to be absorbed by your hair and not cause a lot of buildup so since I have a very low buildup routine I don't really have to do ACV rinses like that but I really wanted to you know just go in on the fact that her lock routine mind you look at her locks they're gorgeous it's very simple you guys yeah. like you don't have to overthink it you don't have to rush to like oh I've had my locks for a month can I do an ACV rinse yeah. yet like why are you what is the reason you know what i'm saying we don't do things mm -hmm. just aimlessly like i use everything one product intention. in my hair i the most that i'll probably do is like after i wash my hair i'll always do like aloe vera with essential oils mm -hmm. and i'll spray that in my hair like that just helps keep it like moisturized and shiny and stuff mm -hmm. and then if i feel like it maybe i'll put like castor oil on my scalp every now and then mm -hmm. but i really don't do that so yeah like bare minimum like I just let my hair be and this is what it did for me so yeah obviously I did the right thing <laughs> right and then also what she was just saying about the aloe vera and essential oils if you look at that lock tonic video up here I actually add a secret extra couple ingredients in mine so go ahead and check that video out I'll link it right up there but yeah it's really simple and her locks are beautiful so have you ever had an ugly stage uh i feel like the term like at the time i it's my girl i know where this is going <laughs> i feel like at the time i referred to it as an ugly stage but honestly it's like it's not ugly it's just the process that your lock has to go through like if you if you frame your mind and say oh my god this is ugly that's like you're kind of hating your hair to a certain extent because it doesn't look how you think it should look and that's not right you know because now I don't think it's ugly so it's like it had to be that in order to come to this so it's just like part of the process I don't think it's an ugly stage I just think it's like a what's a good word for it like a, it's just a transition like an infancy stage yeah like they're immature so yeah you know but it's not ugly not in the least bit the beginning of her locks was actually a really trash process if you want to talk about that yeah so I got murked <laughs> um, so my hair was pretty much like down my back when I started my locks. I did two strand twists. My mom actually put them in my head and they were great. And I was going to someone who I was recommended to because I have family members that have locks and things like that. And what the lady did was she said, hey, cause like my hair is pretty curly. Like me and Ray have like similar hair uh, texture. So like if you've seen her old videos, like." kind of guess like what my hair used to look like um 
So she was like, hey, like, in order for this to, like, lock better because of your hair texture, let's just clip off the ends. And then I'm like, all right, cool. Like, I can afford it. My hair is long. And so I'm sitting in the chair, and she's clipping and clipping, and I'm seeing, like, pieces, like, an inch long. She's just, like, throwing them, like, on the thing. But, and I'm like, okay, well, she's just, like, cutting off an inch, like, on each of them. You know, it's not a big deal. And then she turned me around in the chair. <laughs> like, the deficit was, like, the shortest one was, like, this long. And then the longest one was like this long. Like, it was very It was sad. like, I'll insert a picture, like, here. Sorry. I know it stinks. <laughs> I'll insert a picture here. <laughs> I don't know if I have a picture. You do. Where? Why do you know this? Oh, yeah. no, but even before that, somebody tried to start her locks and they said that her texture wasn't oh, right. So they literally they put, put like, like 27. Wrap. Was it 27 or 30? It was like 27. They put they 27 color weave and wrapped her hair with it and it looked so it stupid. It was so bad and I didn't even, it wasn't even, like it hurt, like it was so tight, it was so thick and it was so hard to take out. And like, it didn't match her hair because the 27 that she used was like orange. I'm glad it looked trash because it prompted me to like take it out and now that I think about it, I'm really glad that I did that because like, like I said, like my hair is kind of like a spiritual thing as well and I wouldn't want to start it off with something artificial in my head like yeah I just wanted to, to be like me mm -hmm. I'm not saying don't do it I'm not saying it's trash or it'll damage your locks in the future I'm just saying it's a different experience it didn't work for so me. yeah make sure you know that going into it now that my hair is like saturated I'm just gonna put a um, shower cap on just so that I don't drip it everywhere because it's pretty smelly so but how long do you think you're gonna keep your locks? Um, probably gonna keep them forever. The only thing that I can think of is like if I get old and like can't manage it reasonably for some reason, I might cut them very short. But I don't really have like a limit on how long I'm gonna grow them. Like I'm just gonna let them go and go and go. And then whatever they wanna do. Mm -hmm. Me. So this part is important because she's actually a visual artist and she's super dope. So make sure you check her out at Full Metal Row. Okay, we interact a lot on social media. So if you think the things that I do are funny and comical and stuff like that, you got to follow her. Sometimes we go live together as well. And also she posts a lot of things that make you think. So she's just a great follow and she's super talented. So I wouldn't be doing her justice if I didn't shout out her talents, aside from the fact that she's just beautiful and she's a really good sister and she has great locks and she's very holistic and she knows a lot about everything and she's just my rock. So aside from all that, she's just bomb and I urge you guys to support her. And even if you know you want to buy some art or something like that, like you guys can totally do that as well. Yeah. So I'm going to stop it right here for now because she's actually not going to be here by the time I rinse this out because it's probably going to be hours from now. So is there anything you want to say to the people before you go? No, just thanks for having me and thanks for asking for me. That's pretty cool. And I love her. So we're going to go for now because I'm greasy and I'll be right back whenever I wash this out of my hair. Bye. All right, so this is what my hair is doing after that rinse. I rinsed it out with lukewarm water. So it does feel like I did something to my hair. Not necessarily how my hair would feel after a conditioner, but it feels different than when I rinsed my hair out the other day. Now it just feels really, really smooth. So for the whole hair growth benefits and stuff, we'll kind of just have to wait on that and see if it works over time. But supposedly it's supposed to happen really fast, so I will definitely keep you guys updated. Another thing to note is that my hair doesn't have like any type of crazy rancid smell in it. I know I told you guys that as she was spraying it on my hair, it smelled like booty. But it doesn't smell bad, like it rinsed out of my hair really well. And then of course I'm gonna go in with my Lock Tonic, which also smells really good. If you guys want the recipe for the Lock Tonic that I'm always talking about, that everybody's always asking about, I'll definitely link that right up there as well as in the description box below so that you can see exactly what I put in this. And like I said before, this is like a zero buildup formula, so it'll pretty much work for anybody's hair. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm also going to apply all of the oils that I applied in my wash day routine that you guys can find right up there or down below. 
Um, I'm gonna apply those oils in my hair just to seal everything off. But additionally, I'm going to apply about two drops of my Love Potion oil. Now, I only do a little bit of this Love Potion oil every time because I actually made this bottle with my mom. So I'm actually gonna use a couple drops today just because I miss her and a lot is going on in the world right now and I wanna kinda of have some of her essence with me. But I wanna tell you guys that this upcoming weekend, and I'm doing this for sure because I'm committed, I'm going to make a love potion recipe for you guys. I know everybody always talks about it and I wanna do something special for you. The composition of that one is actually a little bit more interesting than this one. You guys will see why and I'll explain everything to you. But this is the first batch of love potion that I ever made and I was trying to manifest love in my life and then I literally fell in love. So my love potion is both for moisturizing and sealing and moisture in my hair and I also use it as a manifestation tool. So if you guys are interested in that, like a hair manifestation two-in-one combo, because I know you guys like those spiritual videos as well, make sure you tune into that video this upcoming week. Now, if you are watching this video late, I will definitely link it right up here as well as in the description box below so that if it's already uploaded, you can just go ahead from this video and go straight to that one and really make use of the keys that I will be giving you next week. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, especially the part where my sister was able to speak about her beautiful locks and her beautiful journey. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share, and also follow my sister, and I'll put all of our information right down there, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. And stay safe.